Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another episode of Miss Universe 2022 Contestants Profile, Review and Analysis Welcome! So today we will be talking about Guatemala's representative to Miss Universe 2022 and also as usual please stay tuned because at the end of the video we will be putting Guatemala into our ranking and see where she lands in our current list of favorites for the Miss Universe 2022 pageant. Now before we talk about the representative this year, let's talk about the, represent the performance of Guatemala in the last 10 editions of Miss Universe. We, all, we always focus on the last 10 editions because I felt like it's more reliable rather than focusing on editions which happened a long time ago. So we'll focus on the last 10 editions. So that's from 2012 to 2021. And from those years, unfortunately, Guatemala didn't make any placements. However, it is worth noting that in 2012, Laura Godoy was able to win Miss Congeniality and she was also favored by some pageant portals to at least make the first cut but unfortunately she didn't so it's safe to say right now that Guatemala has no placement yet so if ever they'll make it this year that will be breaking more than a decade of non-placement so far and this year they crowned Ivana Bachelor and before we continue don't forget to follow her on her official Instagram account, which is at Ivana Batch, Ivana Batch, and I will be posting the Instagram handle at the bottom of the screen so that we can be able to follow her journey to the Miss Universe 2022 pageant. Well, Ivana is actually a very, very familiar face and name in the world of pageantry because she was the second runner-up in the Miss Grand International 2020 competition. She is a fluent speaker in both English and Spanish because of course, she works as a translator for both languages. Now for the performance, since there was no national competition, since she was just appointed to represent her country at Miss Universe, I would use her Miss Grand International performance as my basis for commentaries of her performance coming in to Miss Universe pageant. Now for the swimsuit, although she scored an impressive 9.59 during the MGI competition, I felt like it wouldn't be that high if we are talking about Miss Universe standards. It is given that she was very confident in giving an all-out performance and I like that, but she still need to polish some of the skills in her catwalk. The walk needs to be a bit firmer and her end poses, especially focusing on the legs, were a bit wobbly if you focus more on the attention. Again, that's what I've said when it comes to the skills. And there were some very awkward poses as well that needs to be eliminated and needs to work on going into Miss Universe. And I really hope that she could improve on it as well. So technically speaking, I would love to see Ivana with a lot of work on the technicalities and balance during that round. For the evening gown, the gown choice have worked very well in Miss Grand International but I have zero confidence that it would work in Miss Universe. It looked a bit outdated and it is so early 2000 vibes so the team that working with her right now really needs to do some brainstorming and visualization on what gown she would wear at Miss Universe that would make her look like a real contender for the competition. For the performance, I would say that her performance at the evening gown was much better than the swimsuit, although I wouldn't say if I would I would level the performance as a good performance, Miss Universe standard wise. For public speaking, I would say this would be her strength. I mean, she is an incredible, an extremely great speaker to be honest, and, ex and she will impress you with her oratorical skills. Overall, with the amount and with the length of non-placement that I have, I would really, really love to see Guatemala do well in the competition simply because she is an amazing candidate and she could really bring back her country in the semi-finals after more than a decade, which 
Is it something that we wanted to see in pageants? Someone who could break that long drought of non-placements? We would love that. But this isn't a work, a walk in the park. Although she's got an amazing resume behind her. But then again, we have to remind ourselves that coming into Miss Universe, whatever placement that you have in the previous pageant, doesn't matter because what's important is how you deliver at the current moment at the present moment and basing on her performance if she really wanted to be that hope that bring guatemala into the semifinals once again it needs tremendous work because miss universe is on a is on a very high level of competition i really hope that the team are also taking notes and taking different perspective and ideas because finishing high in other competitions is what I have said doesn't really matter if she won't deliver in the preliminaries based on the standards of Miss Universe. So I really hope that she'll work on it and you'll earn it if you prove it through your performance and I'm seriously hoping that we are going to see a tremendous improvement in her performance once the competition starts, especially during the preliminaries. And about the hair, do I prefer her blonde than her hair now, which is a little bit dark? Honestly, I haven't... I haven't really warmed up into her new hair color yet because of course we're really into her blonde hair before. So I really cannot say that as of the moment, but I'm pretty sure that they have their reasons on why she darkened her hair and stick to it going into Miss Universe, but we'll see. Maybe they have something better in mind and that's something that I am really looking forward to see. Having said that, Guatemala is the 16th candidate that we have reviewed and here's the current ranking for Miss Universe 2022. Number 16 goes to Kazakhstan, 15 Canada, 14 for Korea, 13 Malta, 12 Croatia, 11 for Mauritius, 10 Guatemala. I'll put her at that spot as of the moment. I honestly felt like it is a little bit low, especially with her resume, but looking at the other contenders above her, again, as what they have said, it, re it really needs some tremendous preparation for this competition. 9 Ghana, 8 Dominican Republic, 7 for Indonesia, 6 Panama, 5 for Curaçao, 4 Mexico, 3 for Venezuela, 2 Philippines, and my current number 1 is Colombia. And if you compare the ranking to my previous leaderboard, we have noticed that Mauritius climbed up a few notches after giving a tremendous and amazing performance at Miss Supranational and she's just one of the surprising ones which could even go high in the next weeks to come to be honest. So if you wanted to see my reviews of the other candidates, all of those are already uploaded on my YouTube channel so you can just go ahead and check them out. Right now, what do you think of Guatemala and where is she? In your current list of favorites so don't forget to leave your comments below don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well and most importantly don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future for now thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the philippines